I want to talk about stuffed drawer theory. It's a theory that applies to lots of our storage spaces and can explain why if you don't feel like you can keep your house organized or tidy, stay on top of it, keep it decluttered, this might have something to do with it. Something that Cass said when we were uh, filming our Take Your House Back course was that if we struggle with clutter, with stuff getting left out, either for us or other members of our household, is that it has to be practically as easy to put it away as it is to leave it out. In other words, if the home for something, if it just isn't really easy to put it back in the drawer, back in the cabinet, that that's when things usually get left out. And I've noticed this with myself too. So we've talked a little bit, bit about it. We have kind of a weird setup with our clothing because of our master bedroom not having a closet. And so I have this dresser that's in our bathroom, but next to our laundry room, which is nice. And so what I've noticed is that if at any point I start piling stuff on top, instead of just putting it away in the drawer, it's usually because the drawer is getting too full. And once any kind of drawer or cabinet or cupboard or bin starts to get too full, it makes it harder to put stuff away. So whether I'm changing at the end of the day and I need to put something back away, or I have clean laundry and I'm going to put it away, if the drawer is like two thirds full or all the way full, it just feels hard to put it away, especially when all of the laundry is done. It's like, oh, it doesn't actually fit comfortably. It, it's just, I mean, you know, you've experienced this, right? It's just like, oh, it's just, it's just kind of a pain. But if I'll take the time to go back through it and pare it down and simplify it down where it's like a half full or a third full, it is so easy. And I don't even think twice about it. And so that's where this idea of the stuff drawer theory comes in that if, if we ever like get down on ourselves because we're like, why can't I keep stuff picked up or, or put away? Often it's because the places where we need to put this stuff away are kind of over full. And so today I want to show you a, a really simple method of how we can pare down any drawer or space really quickly. But I want to talk about one other thing first, and that is, the cost of storing things. And so it's easy to keep extra stuff because if I'm paring down this drawer and I'm going through it and I'm holding stuff up and I'm like, I don't know, I, I kind of like this shirt. I did wear it that one time earlier this summer. It didn't fit as great as I would like, but one person did tell me they liked it. I haven't really worn it since, but I might want to wear it again. So I'm just going to keep it. And we think that because we've already paid for the shirt or whatever it is that we're holding up, we think that there's no cost to keeping it. It's not costing us, right, any money. The problem is, is it's, it's costing us other things. It's making it so that I pile stuff on top of the dresser instead of just putting it away. It's making it so that when I come to put clean laundry away, it's really full and it's kind of tight to fit it in. And so I would rather just pile the clean laundry on top of the dresser too. And so I know I've heard it so many times, like people are like, can you please help me so that clean laundry gets put away in our household? And it was actually, I think Dana said, she was like, well, are your drawers too full? Are your closets too full? Because a lot of times if they start to get full, it makes it so much harder to put stuff away it's easier just to put it on top or, or next to it or leave it in the laundry basket or whatever. And so that's where this idea that it does cost us something to keep stuff. It's not money, <laughs> right? And usually that's the commodity we're most worried about, but it is costing us something to store this stuff. And so I want to show you a really quick tip for simplifying clothes. And so we're going to go through that with this way overfull <laughs> drawer. But first, a word from our sponsor. Thank you, Helix, for sponsoring this video. Tom, why don't you describe our Helix mattress in one word? Ser I didn't tell him I was Serenity. Gonna Serenity. Okay. Mm, okay. How about a word that describes how you, you sleep? You put me on the spot. I, I, I like, I don't know what to do with my hands. I, what do I do with these things? <laughs> A word about <laughs> your, how you sleep on our mattress. I sleep wonderful on our <laughs> mattress, especially after like today. We had a long day today and we're so grateful that at night we get to come home and sleep on this bed. We've been helping, we've been going to people's houses and help them declutter and today was a marathon. It was a lot of work. And we got home this afternoon and it took all my willpower not to come crawl in bed. That is 100% true. <laughs> 
So Helix is a premium bed in a box company. You go online and you take their sleep quiz and they match you with the Helix mattress that is just right for you. Mm -hmm. So we like our mattress a little bit more on the firm side. We're side sleepers. And so they matched us with the Helix Dusk Lux. <laughs> so we've had our mattress uh, for about a year now and we love it. We sleep mm -hmm. great on it and mm -hmm. we tell all of our friends about it too. Yep. And so when you go online, you take their sleep quiz, you'll get matched with your perfect mattress and then it comes delivered to your door in a box and you get to do the fun part, which is? Sleep on it. Well, what do you gotta do first before you sleep on it? You get to unroll it, pull the plastic off and it like sucks in all the air in the room and comes to life. It turns into a mattress. And if you wonder, am I gonna like it? Well, with the Helix mattress, you get a 100 night sleep guarantee. Uh, so if you don't like it in that time frame, you can return it or exchange it. So if you've been But doing, it'll be a good fit. It, we're fairly confident we're it's going to be a sure. great fit for you. I'm, I'm actually a fairly particular sleeper. Yeah. Like I didn't think I used to be, but after no. we started Gale trying to fire up in the years, <laughs> is that what you're going to say? No, that's what, not what I was going to say. Oh. I was going to say once we started trying out new mattresses, then I figured out that I need a very particular mattress. Yeah, that's time. He's actually very needy. Or that we're needy. old. <laughs> yeah. So if you've been doing a lot of decluttering lately and you need a really good night's sleep, mm -hmm. we encourage you to check out Helix. Mm -hmm. If you use the link down below, you can get up to $200 off and two free pillows. Mm -hmm. And thank you Helix for sponsoring this mm -hmm. video. Now, we're gonna go clean out a dresser drawer. Bye. Okay, so there's just two things that we're gonna need for this process. Some kind of like storage or quarantine container. Like I said, I really like these canvas bags. A donation bag. And again, you could use a box or a Rubbermaid tote, anything like that. We just want a place to quarantine stuff that we're just not sure about. Okay, so step one, we are gonna pull everything out of this drawer. I don't always like this method because it can overwhelm us, but we're just gonna do one drawer at a time. So that's where I think it's okay. And we're just like literally gonna pull everything out. So I just had to count out of curiosity and there was 52 shirts in here, six swimsuits and like eight tank tops. So <laughs> this drawer holds Wear way more than I would possibly ever wear on any given, I don't know, <laughs> period of time, right? So we're gonna pack like we're going on a trip. So we're gonna be gone seven or eight days. Fortunately, the climate is almost exactly the same as where we live, so that's really convenient. And we're gonna be doing all of the same normal weekly activities that we do when we're at home. <laughs> so do you see where I'm going with this? So we're gonna pack for a week of basically being at home. And whenever we pack to go somewhere to go on vacation, we only bring stuff that currently fits and that we like wearing, right? We pick out our favorites. We don't bring something along and we're like, oh, well, when I lose five pounds, this shirt looks perfect, right? We never, well, hopefully we don't. <laughs> we don't bring that kind of stuff on trips with us. We only bring the stuff that fits right now and that we're wearing. Like, again, oh, well, I hope that I, start working out again and I'm gonna wear a workout top. No, if we're gonna be gone for seven days, we don't bring that kind of stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, again, our quarantine container right next to our drawer. And then I have my donation bag here too, if there's any obvious donations. And as I hold something up, I just say, okay, am I gonna, would I take this on a week long trip right now? No, I wouldn't. So that's gonna go in the bag. How about this top? Um, I think I would, so I'm gonna put this in the drawer, but I might swap stuff out as I go if I find other stuff that I would rather have. So this, yep, I would wear that. This, I wouldn't. This, oh yeah, <laughs> one of my black t-shirts, I have to have that. Um, and I'm not even gonna fold it all right now. I'll go back and fold the stuff in the drawer when I'm done. This, I would not. This, I would. Would I bring this shirt on a trip? Yes, another one of my black tops. Um, but this one I don't like as much. This is a V-neck and I don't really care for that one. Okay, this I definitely wouldn't. This, uh, it's a little snug right now, so I wouldn't bring that. This I would, this I would. Well, this is like more of a fall shirt and I wouldn't be needing this. So I'm gonna put this away right now because I only want stuff in my drawer right now that I'm currently wearing. Again, I want this drawer to function so well that it's just as easy to put stuff away as leave it out. All right, swimsuits. I'm gonna set the swimsuits aside and we'll talk about that in a second. So we'll just pile swimsuit stuff over here. 
This one I used to wear a lot, but I haven't been wearing it as much. Same with this one. This shirt I like for walking, so I would take that. This is a hooded sweatshirt, but I have a different one that I've been wearing more recently. So, you know, in the fall I would wear this more, but not right now. So I'm gonna put that in my quarantine bin. This one I don't really wear. Let's see, so this is a tank top that I would wear. So I'm gonna put it in my bin here in the corner. Um, but this tank top I don't really wear anymore, so I'm gonna quarantine that. Again, this is like more of a fall shirt, so I'm gonna put that in the quarantine. This is a tank top I got, but I never actually liked how my arms looked in it, so I think, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna quarantine that for now. And then more white, let's see, this one I wear, but that one I don't, that I don't. That's a swimsuit. I haven't really been wearing this shirt lately, so that one can go in there. Oh yeah, I forgot about this shirt. Does that ever happen? Hmm, yeah, that I think will go in the quarantine. I kind of like having this sweatshirt just for layering this time of year. And I have plenty of room in my drawer, so I think, or in my suitcase, however I'm looking at it. So I think I would keep this out, so I'll put that there. Okay, so then um, I can show you here what I have already filled up in the quarantine. And then also what I have for swimsuits. So again, if I'm going, uh, there's like six swimsuits here. So if I'm going on a trip and I'm gonna wear a suit, I'm only gonna pick the ones that fit now that I like wearing. And so I actually, what I wear most of the time, especially if we're doing anything active is, I got this black like short sleeve top and it has like some ruching on the sides from Amazon and I love it because you don't have to worry about like adjusting anything. So this I would for sure keep out. And then I have another black suit that I like, and that would be that would be all that I would take with me if I were going somewhere right now. So I'm gonna put this in this little uh, container I have in the corner here, and then everything else is gonna go into the quarantine bag for now. So then lastly, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold everything up, but I'm just gonna look through and see, do I have enough of each type of shirt that I would normally wear? This is just where I keep my tops my not nice tops, like my tops I would wear for a dress or whatever, get hung up in our wardrobe. But this is just like my casual stuff. So I was just looking through it and I'm like, I could probably use one more t-shirt just to like wear around the house. So I pulled this out of my quarantine bin and now I feel like it's well-rounded. So I'm gonna fold everything quick and then we'll see how it looks. But already I can tell it's gonna be so much easier <laughs> to take care of and to maintain. And I know I will always be putting stuff away at the end of the day. And yes, I do fold my clothes that go in here. <laughs> and if you want to do the Marie Kondo fold, you can. Personally, it's never really been my thing, especially if you don't have a ton of clothes in there. It doesn't always hold them up, standing up neatly. Um, so I just fold them the regular way and let's just be glad I'm folding them, <laughs> right? Uh, the other thing is, I know sometimes people will say like, oh, I'm really into clothes or I like having options. And I would challenge you on that one right now. For most of us, our brains are fried and we are kind of overloaded right now. And uh, we did a Facebook Live for our Take Your House Back course, which is open right now, by the way. Um, we do Facebook Lives every week in there, which is awesome. But Dana was saying, you know, things that used to just be an easy decision, like, hey mom, can I go over to my friend's house to play? Aren't, like, <laughs> we have to think about things so much differently right now. And so honestly, being able to just open your dresser drawer, know that everything in there is an option right now. It's something that fits, that's comfortable. You're not always adjusting. Like it's literally an option. <laughs> um, being able to just open your drawer, pull something out, wear it for the day is so nice. I mean, just giving your brain like that little bit of breathing room. And again, if we use this method, packing for vacation, it, I mean, it took me like, I don't know what, like six minutes to get through that whole drawer. And everything's safe, because again, we don't necessarily trust ourselves with decisions right now either. Like I spend money on it, should I get rid of it? Will I fit into it again? So everything is safe in here. And so it does, it's fine. Like I can just tuck this into the closet, not think about it for now. And then if we are like, oh, I need to pull something out of there or I need a couple more t-shirts, we'll just go in there and grab it but I think you're gonna really like how this feels. And I think you're gonna find that it will solve the problem of piling the stuff on top for you too. So I just, I don't think there's any downfalls <laughs> to this. It's just, it feels so good to have our drawers not be stuffed full. And it feels good in our dresser drawers, in our closet, 
and in our kitchen and any other, every other place of our house as well. So I'd love to know, stuff drawer theory, does it resonate with you at all? Do you think maybe uh, everyone in your household will be a little more successful putting stuff away if there's a little less stuff in the way? I would love to know your thoughts on it. And I'll also leave you with a video I did not too long ago. If you want to declutter faster, if you're like, yeah, my brain is fried, but how do I still get some like serious decluttering done? Uh, I did a video a little while back on five ways to declutter faster that I just think those tips are really good for the season we're in right now. So I'm gonna link to that down below as well. But I hope you have a good day. I love you and I'll see you again soon.